Hi again, Year 3. I hope you and your family are staying strong and trying to make the most out of these troubling times we all find ourselves in. Hopefully, the bubbles are open soon. The hair is starting to look a bit messy now, isn't it? Anyway, this week um, in English, we'll be rewriting a scene description from the character's perspective. This means you'll be writing through the character's eyes, taking on their persona and characteristics within your writing. My English challenge for you all to, is to write a scene from your favourite film. Obviously, make sure the film's age appropriate, please. Now, my top tip this week, well, I've got quite a few, so make sure you're listening carefully. Now, number one, make sure you write in the first person. Number two, use exciting and adventurous adjectives to describe the scene. Now, number three, my most important but maybe most challenging um, top tip is to try and use all of the senses. Think about your characters feeling emotionally, what they can hear, what they can see, and what they may be to, able to feel physically to touch. And also, if you're feeling really, really good, maybe you can even talk about what they can smell as well. Now, that's all I'm going to be speaking to you about this week, Year 3. Now, hang in there. We all miss you, and I hope to see you very, very soon. Goodbye, Year 3. Hi, Year 3. Great to speak to you again. Hope you had a lovely half term. I'm here with your maths update. So now, we're going to start looking at time. And our first topic in time is the months of the year. And how many days are in each month? A good way to work this out by using our hands and counting up in the months of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. If we count up and we end up on the knuckle, that's gonna have 31 days. If it's in between like this month, June, it's probably got 30. The only exception is February. See if you can find out what's different about February. Once you're confident with that, we can then use that to answer a few questions. For example, I know 1st of June was a Monday. Can I use that information then to find out what day it will be on the 1st of July? Can I use that information to find out what the date was the previous Wednesday? Once we've started answering questions like that, then we can move on to looking at months and comparing them. So for example, you might look at so July and May, both have 31 days. Do they both have the same number of Saturdays in them though? Or the same number of Mondays, the same number of weekdays, weekends? And see if we can start finding any patterns. If not, why not? If yes, why? Try and explain it, try and show it. As many different ways as possible. So that is what we'll be looking at this week in maths. And of course, as always, keep practicing those time tables. Speak to you soon, bye. Hello, year three. I hope you all had a really nice half term. Now to pick up where we left off, the last time we were talking about topic, I asked you to research an Egyptian god of your choice. Now this time, I'm going to ask you to create your very own poster of this god. You could of course choose another god if you wanted, but now it's time to put your, your artistic creative skills uh, to the test and create a lovely poster of your god. Here are a couple of useful tips. You could first of all use a wet tea bag across your paper to give it the look of genuine papyrus. Let it dry overnight though before you start creating your god. Another thing is that you need to look very carefully at how gods are represented in hieroglyphics. For example, they're not forward facing. You always look at them at the side and they have a particular style to them. Think about what god you've chosen and the type of animal head it may have, what sorts of jewellery and garments it may wear, and maybe think about what its purpose, what its job was, and represent that in your painting as well. Good luck in your new task, Year 3. Hope you have fun with it, and I'll speak to you again very soon. Bye-bye. Hello, Year 3. I'm coming to you live from Isaac's room. There he is. Hello. Going to say hello? No, he's not going to say hello. My big question in science this week is this. Does light travel in a straight line? Now, there's all different ways you could do that. You could get a torch and shine it on an object and see if it does. Look at different surfaces to see if they reflect and see what you come up with this week. There's a bit of work on purple mash that's to do with this as well. So, I'm looking forward to hearing how you did on that and I'll speak to you really soon. We really miss all of you, and we really, really, really can't wait to see you in school really, really soon.
Bye-bye.